the Fix Texture Paths tool was introduced in version 1.8. So if you haven't seen the initial video yet, you should do it now. This model here uses decals, but also the example trim sheet for detailing. And so with Decal Machine 2.0, the Fix Texture Paths tool now, in addition to decals, also supports trim sheets, as well as atlas textures. Previously the tool would only ever fix the first part of a texture path, so only the base assets path. But now it can optionally also fix the second part, so everything after the base assets path, including the decal library and decal name. This means that you can now change your decal names, and even your decal library names, as well as trim sheet or atlas names at any point. So you can reorganize your decal libraries, after they have been used in various blend files, and decal machine will be able to find them, and fix them up accordingly. So let's do just that. In my file browser, I rename a decal library, then a single decal and another lib, and finally the example trim sheet. After a Blender restart, the trim sheet and decal materials affected by the renaming don't display properly anymore. This is expected of course, as the stored texture paths can no longer be found. So when you now run the Fix Texture Paths tool, any texture paths that can't be found in their original location anymore will be rebuilt completely, as long as the decal or trim sheet can be found in a different location. Understand that renaming decals, decal libraries or the trim sheet, means, that the decal and trim sheet object and material names in Blender, will also be updated to reflect that. So this is no longer the example sheet, it's the renamed sheet now. And this decal here, is no longer from the, details one lib, but from the renamed decal library. And finally, this decal is now called renamed machine decal, when it was only named via the index earlier. Another addition to the Fix Texture Paths tool is the ability to restore local relative paths. If you have seen the texture storage video for version 2, you know that you can now unpack decal textures locally in a textures folder relative to your blend file. By default, these local relative paths are left untouched by the Fix Texture Paths tool, but you can force it to update and rebuild these as well, if you run the tool with the control key pressed. 